hi hello good evening this video is continuation of the previous video that i uploaded for the dm nephrology resident final afternoon viva session as i discussed previously there are four station you will have in the afternoon mostly it is histopathology where you have to keep the slide and make the diagnosis instruments image related investigation and fourth is um, this fourth station varies from institute to institute where mostly it is of drugs or it might be a grand viva where theory questions might be asked or questions related to thesis or fourth one is the uh, dialysis in this these kind of questions were common i thought of making a video related to instrument by keeping the image of the instrument but since I didn't get enough time to complete that and since the exams are in next week I thought of completing the station 2 instrument related things which are the uh, probable questions from the respective instrument I thought of I will give you a overview of it the most expected most likely almost all the students will, will get this dialysis catheter either it might be a temporary catheter or a tunnel catheter you should be aware of the questions like what is gauge what is french gauge what is the length of each catheter femoral one the subclavian one internal jugular vein left side permacath all the dimensions are very very important because that will assess your practical knowledge and examiners are more pro prone to ask these questions then the question might uh, take to CRBSI, when to remove the perm cath, what are the indications, how to manage the difficult vascular access if bilateral IJV is thrombosed. For example, a patient is having uh, permacath infection, where to put the next permacath, when to put, what is the gap required. Suppose if femoral is also blocked, what are the next option? And regarding the what is the material the dialysis catheter is made up of. What are the complications which are seen while inserting the IGB catheters? How to manage those? How to manage the permacath related complications? How to place the or location of translumbar permacath? What are the guidelines? One question I remember was during my viva, they asked regarding as per the European Vascular Society guideline, what is the recommended order of permacath placement after the right internal jugular vein which is the next one so these kind of questions you can expect next you might get the pd catheter in the peritoneal dialysis catheter it might be the stiff one also called as the hard pd catheter which was previously in use most of the ctvs department people might be having these type of uh, uh, pd catheters and the soft catheter or the tenk of catheter Again, they are more prone to ask the dimensions. What is the dimension of the pediatric dialysis uh, PD catheter? Adult catheter, what is the size? How to select the steps of the PD catheter insertion? What are the complications which are expected? How to do the flushing? What is flush before fill? And you might be given mini cap alone also mini cap alone what is the transfer set many a final year uh, resident definitely should see what is transfer set from where to where it is connected because in the institute where the peritoneal dialysis is not common the students are more prone to do the mistake there so try to have a look at the transfer set uh, in this channel i have already up uploaded a video regarding the transfer set how it appears how to connect it and all so the questions might go to peritonitis, how to manage and how to select the exit site and what are all the instructions you have to give and another important question you might encounter is is swimming allowed for PD dialysis catheter patients or not these are the questions you might encounter if you get this PD catheter next other probable choice of the exam is biopsy again again the dimension when to select what are the complications? What are the contraindications of biopsy? Complications of biopsy. And uh, they will ask how to manage the complication, like hematuria, how to manage. When the patient goes to shock, how to manage. 
and what are the dreadful complications that you have seen how many biopsies you have did and how many complications you have encountered these are all the questions you might get and what are the condition where electron microscopy is compulsory and what are the transport media and the temperature formula in normal saline electron microscopy what is the transport media being used and for the practicality how much time it takes for the processing these are the common questions related to biopsy gun the newer type of biopsy guns are also available that you have to look at that once the barred one next in some instrument they used to keep peritoneal scope it's a very small instrument in the place where dm nephrology course is there most likely during your pre-exam session they might have showed this or you might have used this peritoneal scope this nothing but a scope to look for any peritoneal adhesion mainly during the peritoneal analysis it will be good if you are able to identify it, this one and the questions might be related to entirely to peritoneal dialysis and its complication when to use it after the advent of the laparoscopy nowadays it is not in much use but the examiner might want to identify so you might get this another most important instrument is just ask your urology friends to send the pics or at least just see once how the DJ stent appears because for one of my batchmates they have given this DJ stent they have given PCNL because if you see that all of a sudden in your practical exam you will get confused like what I got like that so just have a look at PCNL and DJ stent once you are able to identify the question might related to obstructive uropathy how long the DJ stent can be kept what are the complications what are the indications of PCNL, type of stones, radiolucent, radiopaque? These kind of questions you might encounter, but you, if you identify well and good. Suppose in the institute, if nephrology department is making fistula, and if the examiner is interested, he might keep a AV fistula related instrument, like the name of the instrument, scalpel, scissors, whatever that institute is using you might encounter which is very very rare but you might have this so have a look if the if your institute is making heavy fistula heavy fistula needle again the dimensions are important what are the dimensions which are available what are the dimension which is uh, what is the gauge which is advised what is the maximum blood flow what are the complication question might related to buttonhole step ladder technique advantage disadvantage these are the questions you might encounter the most 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 important one is the dialyzer almost most of the students will get this one if the dialyzer if you get the questions are related to starting from a to z what is the material use material the membrane is made up of why the material have been changed dialyzer reactions dialyzer reaction and the parts of the dialyzer co-current dialysis counter current dialysis indications what is high cut off membranes what is high flux dialyzer poisons that are being removed with the dialyzer and molecular weight any questions can be asked but mostly you will get the question related to the material with which it is made up of what are the changes which we have been made newer dialyzer membranes it's a very very important question i hope you have studied those things dialyzer tubing this looks very simple but examiner might keep this they might be asking what is the volume of the blood at a particular time inside the dialyzer tubing how to connect it they might ask you to describe the steps of connecting the patient to the dialyzer uh, dialysis machine starting from cleaning the surface till you make the blood to circulate it so whenever your final exam is there make sure you went to the dialysis unit ask the technician to show you once and make sure you are aware of these steps and then you might encounter question why the tubing at the pump is 
more thick than the tubing at the other parts of the uh, circuit when you see the tubings inside the pump it is more thicker than the other parts so the question might be related to that one and what are all the alarms pressure monitor where it is located the parent pump before or after flushing how many lines are there from where to where it is arterial circuit where to where it is venous circuit these kind of questions you might encounter next most important is plasma filter make sure you are not confusing it with the dialyzer because this is also very important spotter where plasma filter will be given where you might be asking question related to plasma process how to replace the uh, plasma what are all the doses the question might go to abo incompatible desensitization plasma process where there is a difference between a normal plasma process replacement and this replacement that you have to be aware of the answers i am not discussing because it will make the video very lengthy and since the final year residents are seeing the video i hope you are aware of the answer if you are not knowing any particular answer whichever i am discussing you can put it in the comment in the next video i will try to clarify the your doubts regarding the indications of plasma process this you have to see how much weight you have to replace complication during plasma process calcium gluconate when to give how to handle hypotension during plasma paralysis at what rate the fluid have to be removed what are all the dialysis machine adjustment how to be done during plasma paralysis so if the institute is having that plasma paralysis make sure you have seen that also and if you didn't see just uh, the practicality the machine adjustment if you didn't see just speak with the dialysis technician in charge over there to ask the adjustment they usually do for the plasma process albumin percentage everything you might encounter when you get the plasma filter another most important is the dialysis filter it is nothing but the for water purification at the back of the dialysis machine there will be dialysis filter it appears like dialyzer the md resident might easily confuse it with dialyzer but as a dm resident i hope you are aware but make sure you know the practical question related to is what is the lifespan of this dialysis machine filter what are all the quality checks it do what are the advantage of it the lifespan is 100 days or approximately and means it is a brand name and does all the machine have this or not and what are the questions might go to ro water quality what are the endotoxin unit what are all the micro microns in endotoxin unit there are two criteria that you have to go through which is in the daugridas what is ultra pure water what are the water used for crrt and uh, all the questions might go to dialyzer or water treatment might related question you might be asked another simple one the students might not expect but you might be asked again the composition of part a since part b is easy to carry they might give you the powder and they will ask you how it is being made in your institute how much powder how much packet of the powder is taken how much water is used how much final part b is made how it gets shifted to the can everything will be asked this will assess your practical knowledge and the examiner will easily come to know how good you are in observing these things so make sure you are aware of this or b composition so as a dm resident examiners are sure you are aware of the police so whenever you are preparing for a hardest of hard topic make sure you have covered this also police material dimensions that's all rarely you might get the bio impedance machine which is used to assess the exact dry weight of the patient if it is present because it is easily can be shifted and it is like a size of a suitcase so the examiner if interested might keep this and ask you question related to dry weight 
and rarely very very rarely you might get a cdc or hla report they might keep it under the instruments also if the examiner wants and the questions might be more of theory related question related to rejection hla typing and all so these are all the possible instruments you will get in the station 2 high chance you will get dialyzer dialyzer dialysis catheter tubing or pd catheter biopsy gun very very high chances just to i have shown so in my exam only few questions i got related to biopsy and then my friends got plasma filter avf tubings dialysis filter these are all the questions i got remember from few of my friends so in the next video i will put regarding the histopathology questions and the possible uh, expected slides and the diagnosis so that's all thank you good night